I was very much in limbo in terms of um, being either in the British um, sort of cultural kind of lifestyle um, as well as the Eritrean cultural lifestyle and sometimes I found at odds. Uh, what helped was um, studying classics and knowing um, that, you know, that region in, say, North East Africa and how it contributed to Greco-Roman civilization um, helped to perhaps reinforce my own identity, my own cultural identity. I make the world of the Bodleian libraries accessible to the general public. So that means schools, communities and, yeah, and everybody else. I did not come from a classical background in terms of schooling. Uh, there was no classics options at school for me in secondary school in uh, South Lambeth. Uh, I fell into it through my own personal interests, through creation myths that I got to know um, from reading in the library when I was younger. Um, I then went to a sixth form college. I studied English literature um, as well as politics and history. Uh, and I was set out to take on a law degree uh, because this is one of the um, professional careers that um, often a uh, family like mine would push into uh, a law degree or a medical degree or a county degree. So I started to um, read around the subject as well as doing my A-levels. Um, and then I had a chance to go to Greece with the college just before the university year, before I set out to study law. I basically fell in love with the ancient world and particularly the Greek and Roman civilizations. And that started me off on the path. And when I came back from Greece, I decided to change my degree option um, from law to classical civilization. And I went through clearing and then I ended up in Swansea University. It was a fantastic three year degree. It gave me the opportunity to study the languages from um, scratch. So I started off with Greek. Uh, I then started to explore the classical world through archaeology, history, politics, art, you name it. One text um, which became quite important to me was Herodotus' histories. Much of his work has impacted my work. Uh, I find him extremely entertaining, uh, extremely interesting as a kind of anthropological text. Uh, I think he, he was a pioneer uh, to explore other races, other ethnicities, and to try and represent them as objectively as possible. I find the character of Andromeda quite intriguing. She was white, born into black Ethiopian parents. Um, and that has impacted one of the ancient novels um, that was written in, in during the imperial period. So I, I find her character quite intriguing in, in terms of how she is represented um, and the sort of conversations about how race is represented in the ancient world um, and also of how women are represented in the ancient world. Me and my family go traveling in, um, you know, particularly in the Mediterranean. We also recently came back from Ethiopia, where my family are from, which has certainly refocused my kind of interest in how different cultures contributed to the Greco Roman civilization. So that has moved from my interest in a kind of professional research level to a very personal level. I don't ever regret choosing classics. It helped me to explore my own cultural and ethnic background. It's part and parcel of my, my life.